29 kilometers. Easy. With 850 meters of ascent. Still doable. In 35 degree weather. Insane. Warm up looked like this. From the first kilometer, I was suffering. Sweat was pouring from my skin, as my body did not yet realize what precious resources water and electrolytes are. Did I use the phrase blazing hot in my last video? Well, I guess the universe wanted to show me what that really means. Some of the trail was so difficult that I would have walked it in any weather. In fact, several parts were nearly impossible to run. Did I use the phrase sizable fallen tree in my last video? Some of the trail was made difficult only by the heat. It was clear that the whole line of walking runners was feeling the same. There were as many battles against the heat going on as there were people. And the heat was winning every single one of them. The second half of my race was more hike than run, but even for walking it was too hot. The scenic part of the trail came near the end. I tried to keep moving while taking in the views. Bad idea. By now it was getting cloudy, but the damage was done. During the last ascent I considered giving up. There were no officials around at that point, so I carried on at the pace of a mountaineer struggling for breath in the thin atmosphere of the Himalayas. Obviously, there is a bit more oxygen in the air in the Ardennes than there is in the Himalayas. This helped me recover a little bit, and by the time I saw an official, I was again determined to make it to the finish. Still, the last thing I wanted to do at this point was to visit a historic site. Unfortunately, a castle visit was exactly what the trail had in store for us. To make things worse, we had to enter the castle as if we were trying to conquer it. This was only one of several points in the last few kilometers where the trail got creative. But somehow, I made it. I was lucky today. Lucky that some clouds appeared. Lucky that no officials were around when I felt like giving up. I only enjoyed a few moments of my four hour ordeal. But I would do it again without hesitation. The heat pushed me to the limit in a way that I had never experienced before. And it is that experience that I treasure. Whenever I see a piece of blue tape, I will be reminded of the time that I won my epic battle against the heat in the forests of the Ardennes. Whenever I see a piece of blue tape, I will feel invincible.